I was working with Martin on a film which was called Born American when it came out. It was called Arctic Heat when we were working on it. So I had been assisting Ma assisting Martin, and I was also assisting the sound editors at the time. So um, so I, I was with them, sort of working, uh, and we were doing a very a long uh, late night session. And it was at the point when the um, shops used to close in the evening, you know, that sort of thing. So, uh, and there was a desperate need of cigarettes for me and the rest of the rest of the team. So I came out of um, uh, the building in Wardour Street and literally bumped into a really old friend of mine on her bike. So she was riding up the, riding up the street and she had just finished on uh, ZM2 Noughts and they were beginning to crew up for Belly of an Architect. This moment is very sweet indeed. And so that was a, just a complete, and I hadn't seen her about two years prior to that, to that moment. And so it was just a complete, utter, um, you know, quirk of fate that happened on a, you know, in the middle of Wardour Street one, one night. And that's how I got into the, the sort of Greenaway fold. Um, which was a, a wonderful, a wonderful period. I mean, that was that that was a good sort of ten year stretch of, and that that for me is where the whole apprenticeship um, started because um, I, I I went in. Um, well, in fact, uh, Millie, who was my friend, she was assisting John, and I was the second assistant, um, and also assistant sound editor. And then, drawing by numbers, I was. Um, a, a sound editor and assistant editor and and then it's, it's progression it was progression so I went from assisting to being a sound editor to being editor uh, so I, I did that whole path was was in in, the, in, in within those greenaway years <laughs>